Dun, 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 dun. The Titty Review! Yeah! <laughs> Dun, 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 the chili review. G'day everyone. Back again. Ron to do another review. Um, we've got a, a, a great, exciting review today. Um, we didn't get to do the reviews that we thought we were going to do on Anzac Day. So I'm a little disappointed. It got a little bit more chaotic than what we thought it would. And it got a little bit uh, past. And, uh, and, and by the time it was sort of... Uh, you know, considered to doing it, it was probably past its moment for the time. So that's all right. That's okay. We'll uh, we'll definitely catch up, and we'll get some more done. But cousin Dags came down with uh, with uh, young Dylan, and um, Daryl said, <clears throat> "I've grown some orange habaneros. Give them a try." So that's actually quite a nice looking, different sort of habanero fino, a little bit, I reckon. Um, there's another one there, so they're, they're, they're very, they've got the colours obviously, um, but different, very different shape on this one. So that's, um, and that's another one as well, as you can see that guys. So I'm going to do the bigger one, I'm going to give that a go today and, and see exactly what this is about. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be warm, it's definitely going to um, roast my tongue, as, uh, as it always seems to happen here. So uh, I hope everyone's having a lovely day. Um, I'll go back to uh, to work in a couple of days, so it's going to be end of the dream is over, back to reality, um, and uh, and yeah, that should be fun. But the reviews will still keep coming. Um, going to do a pretty big pick over the next day or two of everything I've got out there that's ripe, and uh, and have a look. We got some ones I might review later on as well. These are the the first ripe God Stoppers that have come through. They look scary they look like hurt they look like pain so guys it might even be another review later on today or definitely tomorrow in the next day or so i'm going to review a god stopper i've never had a god stopper before so i'm probably never going to want to have another one after i do the review but at the same time it's got to be done anything that is grown in the backyard gets eaten and also anyone else that has got their own chilies that they've actually grown and they want to get a bit, a bit of a an opinion on the flavor and the text and all those beautiful things that we like to do at the Chili Review, then that's what we're gonna do. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna get straight into it. So I'll cut it straight down the guts first and we'll have a look inside it. Bit of, bit of, uh, bit of juice there. Let's have a look inside the pod. And true to what Daryl said, well, I've got to look at the placenta in there. Hmm, that's gonna be. There's another little, if you can see it. Sorry, it's not very clear, guys. I'll see if I can. Open it up a little bit on the focus, focus, focus better guys. Can we see a bit of focus here? Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to. There's another little one in here. I probably could just about dig it out and show part of another chili. And he said he's had that with all of them that he's grown. It's very hard to see. I do apologize, guys. Camera's not great, unfortunately. But I'm going to go in there and just get rid of it. There's a little bit of darkness in there. So I just want to get rid of some of that dark stuff. You can see deep in there, a little bit of black, sort of, you know, stuff that I don't really want to eat. So I'll just get rid of some of that. But we're certainly going to go chomping on this, what smells very nice, quite warm. This is definitely going to spark me up today. Good old habaneros. I'm not a big fan of habaneros. They're not my favourite chilli, to be honest with you. The flavour, etc. I don't know whether or not... Um, you know, I don't, I don't, just don't really love them, but uh, that's okay. We'll um, give them a go. I might just save a couple of seeds of this, and we might uh, grow them because I like the, the the shape of this particular chili. So we might give that a go, guys. I've just, um, I've still got the most of the guts in there. It's just got a little bit of the seeds out of it, just so we're able to keep that little line going. It's a nice colour. It's a really nice orange. I want to try and grow a few different colours next season as well. Probably avoid a bit more of the red pods and go for that. But anyway, enough talking. Here we go. Dags, orange, habanero, grown from home. Here we go. Oh.
Mm. Good size pod. Light, crisp. Mm. Not a bad flavour. Heat kicking in, throat, inside the mouth, not too bad at the moment. A few, a few seeds around the place. Ugh. I love seeds. Not. Mmm. Heat's building now. Good heat. Really good heat. Actually, it's coming real quickly now. Here it comes. Wow. Tongue's on fire. Throat. Not bad though, not bad. It's definitely um, got a nice flavor. That That's probably a really good cooking chili, that one. Good at uh, some of the recipes that uh, Phil's posted. He has a fair bit there with um, habanero sort of sauces. That would be a really good one. I think it's got some good heat though. It's um, still building. A lot of seeds. Still, I thought I got a fair few out. Um, not bad, it's, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's got that build, throat, tongue, sort of here in the solar, solar plexus as they say, or sternum or whatever, I'm not a doctor, I just eat chilies guys, but yeah, no, that's not too bad, yep, back of the, underneath of the tongue, right now, really warm, Tip of the tongue, got a good burn, but you know it's not too bad. It's it's definitely something that we can um, we can enjoy with our cooking. Uh, make that into a powder. That'd be a really good powder. But yeah, guys, all right. Well, I'll, I'll let it just manifest a bit, burn a bit, and I'll come back and give you a bit of a review of the aftermath. And we'll leave it there though. But awesome, Dags. Thanks, mate. I won't be too long. We'll come back and review some more. Dun, 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 dun. We're back, guys. All right, it's been about two or three minutes. Um, good flavor. Lips on fire. You can probably see they look a bit red. And they uh, they definitely, um, they're, they're arcing out right now. Back of throat settled a bit. Runny nose. All the good things that you're going to expect when you have a, a relatively hot chili. Um, but that's certainly, uh, yeah, that's, um, that was a really nice flavor. Um, fruity, uh, didn't have a bitter flavor at all, which is good. There wasn't a real florally taste to it. It was more just a sweet sort of, a, uh, a typical type of habanero, but on a lighter scale. Um, the heat come on pretty quick, actually. I, I was chewing it and I thought, mm, no, this is probably not too bad. The minute I swallowed it though, I felt this straight up straight up the throat, into the mouth, and it was pretty intense there. Probably, I reckon it was a good intense for a, for a good minute where it was really arcing. I thought, geez, I don't want this to, to, to go on too much longer, but it's, it's, done, it's, done, uh, it's done its job. It's pretty good, actually. So um, I, would, I would highly recommend them um, either powder or, or cooking, you know, like at the end of the day. Uh, even chop it up and, and, and put it freshly on top of a, um, a dish that you really want to... Um, you know, that you like eating. I like to do that often. I'll, uh, I'll just get fresh chili like that, cook up a meal, and then just chop it up nice and fine throughout the meal itself, and that just adds that nice little bit of extra flavor and extra heat to kick it on. But um, yeah, still, yeah, it's still still hanging. It's in the chest. It sort of hit me here for a little bit as well. So uh, it, it definitely hasn't uh, left me um, totally nuddly, uh, you know, um, and capable of continuing on what I have to do. But at the same time, it's let me know that I've eaten something pretty warm. So, um, but yeah, so tomorrow, guys, um, or maybe later today, depends on how everything pans out, uh, Godstopper. Um, interesting. Read a lot of things about them. Um, I heard they're really, really hot. So that's going to be a real a real challenge, I think, tomorrow. But, you know, like I do and I say, anything that I grow in the backyard, I'll eat. So that's it. And that's a beautiful looking pod. You can see that. It's just, yeah, it looks like it's ready to, ready to kick my arse. But anyway, that's cool. That's what we do. 
Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then from that onwards, guys, I also got these ones here that I'll do a review on later. If you can have a look at that, they're a beautiful looking pot. They're called an orange cobra. I just picked um, picked a few. They're actually got a really tight, tight, hard skin. You think they're like an orange bird eye, but they definitely got a lot more. Um, I feel that they feel like a lot harder and compact than even what a orange bird, um, well, what a bird's eye would provide. So there's a couple of there that I'm looking forward to trying. I, I heard they're quite warm as well for that type of chili. So. Um, we should be able to uh, to have a couple of good reviews before I'm due to go back to work. There you go. So anyone want to try one of these, let me know. They're like little twisties. Like your twisties, I'll send you a couple of little uh, spicy twisties, guys. But anyway, I think that's it for today. Um, I might come back after. I might do the Godstopper today. Uh, if not, it'll be done tomorrow before I go back to work on the Wednesday. So uh, look, thanks everyone for tuning in as always. Um, if you like this and uh, you want a bit of fun with it, uh, just subscribe. I try to keep everything up pretty uh, up to date as much as I can. I try to keep reviewing. I've got heaps of pods to pick, so there's going to be a few reviews coming. Trying to get a few of the boys together as well to try and get a, a review done. The old group reviews always good fun. Um, there's more to talk about. I sort of get a bit uh, a bit lost for words after a bit to uh, to continue rambling on for you guys. But anyway, um, hopefully we'll get a, a group review shortly. Um, on a couple of nice pods and and give you some uh, some feedback if you want any seeds as i said guys if there's any any varieties that you want any of these ones that i, I do and review I, I keep seeds and um, i'm happy to flick them out to you and share the love uh australia's seasons where i'm based in uh, is starting to come into a winter phase now so that means it's going to be a little bit more uh, harder to uh to, to get some real good quality growth happening so we're going to ease into uh, winter and then into winter into spring and then we can start to get the season happening again but if there is any seeds that you guys are after whether it's the orange habaneros these awesome orange cobras the godstoppers or even if it's just uh seven pot yellow seven pots i mean these pods are just awesome they're huge i've got a couple on the bush still to pick that are massive even bigger than these and they're a good size if you can I've got pretty big hands though but you know they're a pretty good size pod if you want any of these guys let me know they're they're really good grown um you know but reapers we all want some fun with some reapers let me know all right guys stay well stay healthy stay happy and as we always say at the chili review love them grow them and respect them most importantly get them into you peace out everyone see ya